I think it's because I think it's because people are afraid of responsibility, personal responsibility, mostly. There's, it takes a particular brave person, honestly, to be an entrepreneur in America, in particular. And to be an entrepreneur in America is like terrifying to be to be an entrepreneur, even even in that in that field. And I'm telling you, there's money, and I would show him. Uh, you can't quit for my life of me, and and he knows it. <laughs> It, it, to be an entrepreneur is it's pretty, it's pretty terrifying. I mean, you you, you got to put a lot out there, particularly because you, I had to drop my insurance. I couldn't have insurance, period. And, you know, in hindsight, I understand why they didn't want to do it because I went back to corporate America for many of the same reasons that they didn't want to be involved. They did, It's too big a risk for them. They, their families are involved. They have to have stable income. They don't understand that it's actually more stable to have income from from 50 to 100 individuals than it is to have income from one organization that can fire you anytime. That's actually probably one of the hardest things to communicate to people who want to start their own mentorships and their own businesses. It's, it's, it's actually more stable because you, the chances of all 50 to 100 people dropping you as their private mentor is very low. And plus you're doing one-on-one -on -one with them or one on two, one on one. And so they, they, they gain a, a very strong bond. I mean,